hello everyone so in the previous uh, uh, video uh, I think I have shown you how to implement a common source amplifier which is basically used as a voltage amplifier right uh, with both uh, pre layout and post layout simulations have been implemented and uh, I think I have the same thing I have uploaded in the video right so in this video uh, I will going to explain uh, how to implement uh, the common drain amplifier which is basically used as a source amplifier right uh, here uh, it is implemented using nmos circuit and obviously nmos is used as a current source here right uh, and uh, as per the common drain uh, characteristics it is basically operated as a source follower means whatever the input you provide at the source that means at the gate the same will be followed at the receiver side that means uh, it is basically impedance matching between your input and output right when from the high gain uh, high frequency circuit to low frequency circuit so when the impedance is matched obviously you can have almost whatever the input it is given can be expected at the output so th that experiment we will go into implement here and uh, the basic steps i think i have already shown you that is we have to invoke she shell then csrc to invoke the cadence tool then you have to set the path and i have set the next is you have to invoke the virtuoso tool right i already invoked the virtuoso tool from the path right and now what is the next step i have to go to file create new cell view because the library is already been created so cell view the cell view this is my library which is already created so here i'll going to give the cell name or the schematic circuit name right that is common drain which is a schematic circuit okay so the schematic common drain so let's click ok and click ok so what you saw schematic uh, editing window will appear now the circuit in order to add the components i have to search for instances right so the shortcut is i i'll select i directly so you have to browse from here browse select gpdk45 in the 45 i need nmos two nmos uh, components i need because the common drain has two nmos symbols okay Let's close this hide i'll take two nmos okay i have placed two nmos right now i need input and output pins to add input output pins p is the pin name right shortcut is p so i'll type all the input pins first right so v in space uh, v bias space vdd i need as well as vss i need right i have type all the pins i just you uh, know uh, when i click every for every click i'll get one pin after the other okay the first is v in next is v bias next is vdd then vss just hide this this is v in sorry uh first is v in so v in is given to the first nmos next is v bias so that is given to this then next is vdd i'll rotate this shortcut is r i'll rotate and place and another one is vss i'll rotate it and i'll place here okay now we left with v out again i'll add pin p so v out right so this is output i've selected direction output hide and place output here right now what is the next step so i have to add all the connections so to add connections to go to create and wire or you can select directly wire w is the shortcut right i'll take wire so select connect according to all right so vss is connected here drain and drain is connected and that is given to v out and one one thing we left with is the substrate connection right because this is nmos and this is also nmos so substrate has to be connected to vss again this is also nmos this cannot be connected to vdd right it has to be connected to vss also 
VSS only. So that's why I have connected both the substrate connection to VSS. If it is NMOS, you would have connected it to VDD, right? So this is the circuit for this is the circuit for common drain amplifier. Okay, fine. Now what is the next step? So this is the circuit we have completed the schematic. So just save and check for errors. No errors are there. So what is the next step? We have to create this symbol for the same. So how to create the symbol? Just go to create from cell view, select from cell view. Right. So when you select, so common drain schematic will be the same. I want to be with the symbol. So just click OK. Now it is asked for how to place the pins. It is asking for. So the same thing as we did in uh, uh, common source. I'll do the same thing here also. I'll take V bias on the bottom. VDD on the top. And VSS also on the bottom. Okay. And V in would be same. Okay. So this has to be done in common source. I'll just click OK. Now the symbol has been generated, right? So you can edit it like uh, you know a common drain amplifier uh, symbol, or you can keep the same thing like this only, right? So both are okay with. Fine. So I'll just save this. The symbol has been generated clearly. So just save and close. Now once you have created the symbol, the next step is for test circuit we have to create this test circuit for the simulation to verify the schematic circuit okay fine so how to create that you have to go to file select a new in the new give the name as common drain test circuit right so other thing let's let it be the same just click ok now new window will appear here what is the first step? I have to invoke that symbol first, the symbol that I have just created. So we have to import that symbol first. To import that component, we have to go to instance, add instances. The shortcut is I. Right? So just type I, browse it. So now the symbol that I have created is in my library, that is test1. So correspondingly, which uh, this library you have created, it will be there in that uh, library. Right? So in that, it is common drain schematic right you can see the symbol it is generated here just closed hide it and place the component right so this is the common drain schematic okay now what is the next step so we have to add all the analog components to verify its operation right so how to add first is let me add the vdd first right so because uh, all this biasing voltage and uh, this VDC, so these are all the D DC voltage we have to apply, right? So let it be the same. First, we'll add the DC component. So again, how to add? Add instance, browse, check for analog library, right? In the analog library, you search for VDC, right? So VDC symbol is created. Just close this here. It is asking for VDC value, right? So DC voltage let it be 2.5 volt right some or uh, let it be some 5 volts we shall give so that uh, okay uh, it will be the 5 volt positive 5 volts is to be given right yes one second just hide hide and place it here okay the same way again I need one more uh, VDC to give it for VSS I just again add pin add instance here DC voltage I'll give minus 5 volt let it be minus 5 volt for VSS okay again for V bias again I need VDC voltage V bias let it be 1.1 volt 
so minimum voltage required to keep the NMOS in active region so I'll just give 1.1 volt that is more than enough so I'll keep it here so in the previous example where PMOS was the current source there I had given minus 1.1 volt because uh, PMOS it is inverted right so you need to provide negative voltage in order to keep that in active region right so that's why I've given plus sorry minus 1.1 here it is in MOS so I'm giving 1.1 plus 1.1 volt right in the same way again uh, another input is we have to give is the V sign right so I have to select V sign right this is the symbol I've selected just close here V symbol I need is AC magnitude is 1 volt and uh, amplitude is 5 millivolts I am giving right and the frequency let it be 1 kilohertz okay AC magnitude 1 volt 5 millivolts and frequency is 1 kilohertz hide and place the input component right now we left with only the output component so I'll add pin so select V out okay hide and place the output pin now we have to interconnect all this before interconnect I need ground pins also so I'll first select ground pin so I'll place ground first then we'll interconnect all this so add instance browse here to select G N D ground pin right, just close and hide I need one ground pin here another one here and for VDD as well as VN right so now I have placed all the components we have to interconnect now so to interconnect we need a wire shortcut is W W so just interconnect fine so I'll interconnect this as well as this then V out connection right so I think I have given all the connections right now the test circuit is completed just check for the errors so no errors found next is we have to go for analysis right so how to go to analysis just select launch ADE L click on that just click OK so analog library is generated so here we have to select the analysis types right so go to analysis choose analysis types first is obviously transient analysis same thing as we did give given in the previous same will give let it be 5 minute moderate ok so I'll click apply so one thing is up here transient now next is DC so select DC operating point component parameter select component on the design input DC voltage click OK so these are the parameters you have chosen right so the sweep range let it be some minus 5 to 5 because the voltage you are given from minus 5 to 5 DC voltage VDD and VSS let it be the same sweep range click apply so we have selected that also the next is AC analysis let it be the frequency frequency sweep range let it be from 100 Hertz to 150 megahertz <coughs> okay and sweep type is logarithmic points per decade let it be the same 20 dB per decade okay apply and click OK now we have selected all the analysis types transient AC as well as DC next step is you have to select you have to plot the output right so on the graph select output select to be plotted on the design so I need input as well as output right I've selected both input and output now run for simulation right 
now we can see just I'll separate the sub windows okay now click and separate the waveforms because it's if you, you can observe here because it's a source follower so whatever the input is there it will follow the same at the output that's why phase is also same whereas in common source you have an inverted output phase shift by 180 degree you can see right it's basically uh, that was basically a voltage amplifier right so if you observe here the input voltage I have given is peak to peak is 10 volt peak to peak 10 millivolts peak to peak I have given right if you can see it is in millivolts so 5 to 5 means it is peak to peak voltage is 10 millivolts right if you take the difference from here to here so it is uh, 2.909 minus 2.916 so you will get around uh, 2.909 how much uh, we get is 2.909 minus 2.916 so you will get around 7 milli volts right because obviously we are using NMOS so voltage will be uh, uh, this threshold voltage will be uh, neglected so obviously you will get uh, 7 milli volts peak to peak ok so now uh, s print this file so you have to save the results so you have to you can see the you know uh, its uh, frequency up, uh, response right. so around you are getting uh, the gain around 0 0.7 right so it's basically a source forever and you have to save this so you have to go to print so just to note down these results so once you have completed the post load simulation you just you can just compare the results so how much it is reducing all these things can be calculated ok so in the test VLSI I mean this is common drain underscore pre layout simulation right so this is a com common drain pre layout simulation results right you can just see this because it is a source follower so what are the input is there same thing can be seen at the output right so almost you can see the expect the same but uh, because of uh, uh, the threshold voltage of uh, transistor so you can see the some less voltage in that but uh, if you change in uh, its uh, W by L ratios you can expect some uh, you know up to uh, 10 millivolts okay thank you uh, just uh, print this file now I have saved so you can see that file so once you have saved so this completes the pre layout simulation in test VLSI I have saved test 1 common drain I think I have saved here only so common drain pre layout results ok you can see here all the results have been saved ok yeah uh, I'll just keep that in inside the test folder so you have common source common drain as well as common drain pre layout results ok so this is the pre layout simulation of common drain like in the next video I will show you how to do the post layout simulation thank you